1987, Pioneer Public TV wanted to have a horticulture show on their lineup. They approached Roger Bowman from the University of Minnesota Morris to produce and direct the new show called Prairie Yard and Garden. Roger was involved with about 400 shows until he retired a few years ago. He contacted us and said he is doing a landscape project at his home and offered to let us come watch. I had been planning to do a show on landscaping, so this was a perfect opportunity. Welcome, Roger. Well, thanks, Mary, for visiting our home. How long have you lived here at this home? Well, we moved to the Taylor's Falls area in fall of 2016, so that's four and a half years ago. What was the landscaping like when you bought your house? Well, when we moved here, it was pretty much a blank slate. There was a small perennial garden in the, in the, by the front entrance. It had some shrubs, it had a few uh, perennials. Um, but outside of that, it was pretty bare. Uh, we have a shade garden now, and that at the time was pretty much weeds, uh, some rock edging, a few small trees. And so over a period of four years, we developed that. And we sort of did it in stages. You know, and sort of that's our landscaping experience. We didn't, didn't do big projects. And we decided we wanted to do something with uh, the front of our house to make it more appealing. And there was a small deck uh, on the front of our house. We took that off and I built the deck that you see now. When I put a curve on the, on the corner, it provides a nice soft line uh, for walking around it into our, our uh, perennial garden. So there, we did a lot of work, but it was over time. And we decided uh, that we would do a bigger plan. We would try and landscape a much bigger area. And we both realized soon that we just don't have the expertise to do that. We don't have the sort of the insight and the understanding of how you do landscape design on that scale. And that's why we contacted a, a landscape designer. How did you go about finding somebody or how did you, what just steps did you follow? <clears throat> We looked in uh, locally on the internet to see what landscapers there were. And of course, a lot of people are listed as landscapers, but they're not landscape designers. You know, they have a bobcat and can move a lot of dirt around, but we really wanted somebody that understood design. And uh, we found that Abrahamson's Nursery had a designer, had actually have two designers on staff. Um, and we thought, let's give them a call. Uh, we met with uh, Andy Carlson and he came out and he looked at our site and uh, took a lot of photos and measurements uh, and kind of we went from there. When did you start the process? We started probably in February or March of this, pa this past year and our original thoughts were quite modest compared to what we ended up with, what Andy gave us and we would have had pretty uh, sad looking I think landscape <laughs> if we would have followed through with what our plans are going to be. What did he advise different than what you had in mind? My first reaction was, wait a minute, this isn't what we wanted. But the more I looked at that design, the more I really liked it. It was just such a broad scope compared to what we had come up with in our minds. Did you have input into the plants that were used? Did you pick some of them? Well, we did, but I think more along the lines of we wanted some, we wanted perennials, but we also wanted uh, some shrubs, but we also wanted some evergreen for winter interest. So that was important. And uh, but we'll let Andy kind of decide what would work best in our conditions with the you know sunshade and uh, we have it's very sandy soil here, and so that was an issue for maintenance. And so Andy came up with some plants that should do very well in this environment we have here. Roger, what were some of the elements for the landscape design? Well, the deck really was sort of our focal point. You know, we put that in before we did much else didn't give a lot of thought to what we would want around the deck and then that came later and so we thought well what can we do to make this better but the deck was the key and so we had a new sidewalk put in that leads into the deck and that had as a it's uh, stained a light gray or colored a light gray to match the gray of the deck and the other element that we didn't consider were the boulders that Andy suggested now I just have to tell you <clears throat> my dad being a farmer you know, he's probably rolling over in his grave right now understanding that we paid to have boulders brought to our yard. But they look nice and, they, and Andy picked them so that they complement the colors in the deck and the sidewalk. With the plants that were used, 
Did you specify that you wanted color throughout the seasons also? I don't know if that was explicit in our conversations, but I think that came out as we talked about what we were looking for. And we did want some color. There's some perennials that he incorporated. We have coneflowers. There's some sedum that will turn, you know, a beautiful mauve color late in summer. There's some cat mint, and it has the nice blue flowers. It's always kind of a nice dusty look to, uh, to that type of plant. But we also wanted something that had winter interest, and then we have some evergreens. Uh, there's some spruce in there. There's a globe, a blue spruce that's a beautiful specimen. And we have some spirea that will bloom in the summer. So yes, it gives us a little color, and even in the winter we'll have some interest in it. If you have some advice for anybody that's considering a landscape job, what would it be? Well, I think you have to understand what your limitations are <laughs> and trying to determine if you can really pull this off. If you have sort of the, the uh, creative uh, side of you that can do that. We didn't. We understood that. It was a limitation. Even though we had gardened for many years and we were able to do small plots and sort of tie them together, this was a little beyond what we were able to really get our head around. So if that's the case, I would highly recommend getting a professional person, a designer, to take a look at your property. I don't believe they charge you for a consult, so I think that would be a wonderful way to start. Well, Roger, thank you so very much for letting us come out and see, it is really, I think it's beautiful. Well, thanks, Mary. We've really enjoyed the way the design came together.